Welcome. I'm Kenneth Andre, Teng Jitsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Hope you're all doing well. Now, I've got more to share with you. <laughs> I'm receiving more signs this morning. It's amazing. I'm so grateful. This morning, coming back from the shop, I saw a trainer like this, okay, with the white separated from the black. And I knew that was a good sign, okay, like the separation of the tears and wheat, okay, the white from the black. So I found that an interesting sign. The way it came into my experience, I was like, yes, okay, I get that. Again, you just know when uh, certain presentations come into experience from Father. It's funny because I, when I saw this, I was crossing a bridge as well, like a mini bridge. Anyway, I saw that coming back from the shop this morning. And there's some other signs I've just received. I'm going to share it with you. Now, before I do... I want to encourage you by by saying if you trust in God who provides for you, protect you, let go of this world, surrender, enter God's rest, I'm going to tell you, you're going to be all right, even though we are sat in sat's cloth, as told us in the Bible. Okay, we've been stripped of everything. Many of you have been alone for a long time. We've been like hermits. All right as told us in scripture, because he took us out of the world because we don't belong to it. There's a new age, a new heaven and earth that's coming. All right. And you're going to be restored. Father had put me in a particular state, like I was being cornered, right, because I belong to the Lord. And so... I went for a process of being stripped of everything from the world. And I used to have nice things. Even when I was in the army, I had a nice house. Uh, I had my own sports, Vauxhall car. All that was stripped from me. And I was put in a position like father was cornered. Father had cornered me where I had no choice but to rely and depend on my father, on spirit. And I'm so grateful and humble for that. As I was going through a process where he's beating me, tearing me to pieces and making me broken as prophesied in the Bible. And I'm so humble and grateful for that. Even as I'm saying this, I get images of my mum beating me as a kid. So <laughs> it just made me a stronger martial artist, you know, blocking and dodging her shoe. <laughs> And now, years later, I'm getting the same treatment from father. But no, seriously, it really helped me to become this new creature, a new creation. I, I know with my hands on my heart, I needed to go through this process. And now I have this inner strength that you just cannot get from your journey in this world. It's a strength and faith and trust in the invisible, in spirit, with the Lord, whereby you have your testimony, your knowing, then what can touch you when you are provided for, protected, shown, and have your testimony, okay? Because the world, it, it's got its nasty habit of saying, you need this, you need to conform, you need to fit in, you need to be a particular status, etc., and everyone is playing a role, an occupation. They're occupying a particular state, etc. Well, when you're separated from that and you realise you don't need it all, the Father's going to provide for you. And we start investing in heaven. You have your testimony knowing what's going to come, regardless of what we are going through. And it does say, yeah, long suffering. Many of us have gone through a lot. And I'm aware many of you are lonely and desperate for change and for life and to be delivered from this world. And Father is shouting, to, shouting out at me, it's here. Everything is going to be all right. Okay, I've gone through a lot. Father has took me to the depths of hell, 
showed me the heights of heaven and transformed me. And I am so grateful and humble. And hence, Father has got me on here to give you that which I've received from Father. This is for you as well. As prophesied, many of us are formed to do, to do this particular job, should we say, or task. As a messenger, to let you know, let go of everything in this world. All right. Trust me, you're going to be restored. Let go of all that which doesn't belong to you. I have an inheritance for you where you will obtain everything. Now, once you get into a particular state, it's it's funny. I see what Father is offering me, offering us. And yet all I want is the little trivial things in life now. My gold, my treasure is my family. It's love. It's the little things in life. I don't want to roll. I don't need to be wealthy or anything. I appreciate just the things that I have. I appreciate the things I receive from Father. And yet he's offering us the kingdom. And so it makes you more centered, more present, makes you pay attention to your loved ones, to appreciate them, to see beauty in your loved ones, to see it's all God. It's absolutely phenomenal. You can't get this state of mind, this awareness, this presence, this learning and, and wisdom from the world. You just don't get it because of the nature of it. Anyway, I'm going on a bit. I do apologize. But do know we're going to be restored. All right. Your years restored and he has wonderful things stored up for you in heaven. He's going to fulfill your heart's desires. It's literally about being detached and birthed out of this realm of darkness, the ages of deception, etc. Now, Brother Dana posted um, in his community tab about the three tabernacles. He's been monitoring the moon. In connection with the Bible, okay, where the moon travels through the three tabernacles, Gemini, it's Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. All right, tied to tied with Scripture, when the moon reaches the end of the third tabern, which is here, the harvest begins. Keeping it very brief, basic, okay. That's today. And I've been watching Brother Dana for a while now. I know Spirit is showing him something. So I'm like, okay, we've received now the four moon sign, symbolism, four door. Then this morning, Spirit brings this image up, right, with the three moons. The fourth one is the Stargate, the portal itself in the pyramid. Okay. Door. Gate. Stargate. Then my mum messaged me earlier. Bless her. The Golden Gate Bridge and the Comet. Remember the Star of Jacob? The scepter we, re re we receive. We will rule like a rod of iron, your life. Gate, door, golden gate, bridge. I said we are bridged into the new age, a wonderful new world, a new heaven and earth that comes down to us. It's all going to be worth it. We just got to persevere and endure until the end. Well, Father is shouting out to me, it's the end. I keep seeing 88, 33, 44. I see like in the thumbnail, um, on a random thumbnail, game over, the end, etc. It's like Father shouting out at me this morning. This is it. The separation of the white from the black, door, four moons, okay, gate, comet, the star of Jacob, okay, the scepter out of Israel. I'm like, wow, this is amazing imagery. Yes, 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 okay. And it pulls out. Okay, so I want to share, share some script with you. God's precepts as well. Scripture. John 16, 33. There's the 33. I keep seeing. I saw 12, 12 earlier too. 33. 33 is to do 
with the top of the staff, your spine, all right, where you enter Golgotha 44 door, all right. <laughs> yeah, you're going through the chakras, okay, the word, the throat, temple, 44 door, okay. I told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, so all the darkness. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Right? And he's in us. Right? We go from strength to strength. God works all ends to good. Hence, I'm so grateful for everything that I've gone through. And I'm overcoming this world. I've got no interest in it. Disassociated from it. Yes, I'm waiting for my friends and family to awaken. When there is a taking up all together at the last trumpet, as told us in scripture. All right. Romans 8, 37. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Many of us, are bet we are witnesses and bear our testimony of the God being formed in us, as told us in scripture. He literally says, you are my witnesses, right? Before me, there is no God. And then there's this language of him being formed. And then afterwards, there is no other God. There's only God in this play, the Christ. We are being formed in the likeness and image of the invisible light, love and spirit through the Son, the image, wisdom and power, the creative power of our Father. All right. This is the depiction of God in the Bible. Acts 14, 22, strengthening the souls of the disciples and encouraging them to continue in faith. We must endure many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. I understand this. I get it. Like I said, I needed to go through this process. I appreciate the discipline. OK, hence we we start coming from the fruits of the spirit, self-control, compassion, joy, love kindness okay we start applying our mind correctly our thought word indeed we are separated from the world and we see to the pure all things are pure we understand that they're asleep we've been there we've played as the first earthly man adam the wolf the hunter the lame bull playing as cain in the land of nod we're not that no more. We're new creatures, a new creation. And creation is waiting in eager expectation for the sons of God. Well, here we are, okay, watching and waiting for our deliverance out of these ages, okay? Uh. Isaiah 43, 21. The people I formed for myself will declare my praise. Absolutely. I'm here to glorify my father. I'm aware that what I've gone through, many would not choose. OK, if I knew if I knew what I was going to go through and the things that I would lose, would I have opted to do it? Probably not. Hence, I wasn't told anything. Right. I had to get knowledge and understanding what I was going through, what had happened to me. The Bible was the only thing who that could describe to me what was happening with me. No one out in the world could. Funny enough, the same pattern and story of Job. Yeah, of Job. Yeah. Where his friends are saying, what have you done? Why are you in this state? You must have done something wrong. Why has the father judged you? And no one could understand why Job went through this process. It's the pattern in the Bible. We follow the pattern, man. The scripture unfolds in you. There's nothing you can do. You're being done. God's word is coming alive in you. You are fulfilling the script. And so no one can understand why I'm in this state, in this position. But it's told us in scripture. But you wouldn't believe that there's individuals that actually fulfill the scripture in real time. I'm one of them. <laughs> and it's not easy. But I am very, very grateful and humble. And I've got nothing but compassion and love. And not everyone needs to go through this because of individuals like myself and 144,000 out there. And many of you have gone through a lot that you have compassion, that you could give guidance in saying, stop stressing about the worldly things. OK, things that don't matter. There's a whole 
there's a whole new way of applying your mind and a world waiting for you. A new world, a new you, etc. Okay, but many are still so engrossed in the poverty of the world, as mentioned in the Bible. All right, there is so much going on with reality and your life than you could possibly imagine. And there is so much more to that which you see. And, and things are not what they seem because of the great deception. Because of the age we're in, Shiel, it asks you to beg and sacrifice, etc. It asks so much from you. And yet, it uses all the tricks to manipulate you, to get you interest, to follow these isms and... What's the word? These distractions, these promises that never get fulfilled because of the nature of this realm. It's horrible. Right, let me pause there. Okay, Isaiah 43, 4. Since you are precious and honoured in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your, for your life. This is where... Because God loves you, he loves you first, he's given his life and he's offering you his kingdom. But you need the other side to play their roles. The dark side, that you would see the light, that you would see the father. And so he's given that in exchange. So his son, you, by the forming of Christ in you, will come into truth and see the light. And it's horrible, yet it's wisdom. Hence, we don't rely on our understanding. We lean on God. And he's going to restore our friends and family because everyone's had a part to play in the raw role of your development. That you would come into great riches and the crown of life, the promise, etc. Hence, love that enemy. Love everyone, regardless the state that they are in. God is going to restore everything. There's a lot going on and you've got to have new eyes. And this takes a process for you to go through to come into great understanding. Second Peter 3, 13. But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. OK, this is going to pass away. The evils pass away, as told us in scripture. It says you go looking for your enemy. You won't find him. You're going to be expecting this and that is going to be all gone. Keep watch. Okay, Romans 8, 21, that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and brought into glorious freedom of the children of God. We are new creatures eagerly waiting and creation is eagerly waiting for the sons of God. This is from the investment. The measuring rod stops here, bursting at the seams. The purse, the good man has gone on a journey. He will not return until the full moon, till the completion of your soul. That's what it's referring to. Okay, Acts 3, 21. Heaven must take him in until the time comes for the restoration of all things which God announced long ago through his holy prophets. Okay. And the last one. 1 Peter 1, 5. Who are protected by the power of God through faith for our salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time? All right. All glory to the Lord Jesus Christ, to my father, to our father, the truth that's in us, the invisible light, spirit and love that I am that I am. Holy be his name. All right. We bear his name in his in our forehead. We are sealed. We belong to the father. Yeah. It's been traumatic what we've gone through. But what is coming, as told us in the Bible, this will be as nothing. All right. It will soon pass by all the wonderful things that's going to manifest in your life a new future for father says it's not my will to hurt you but to give you a wonderful future that will prosper you do not pay attention to the screen or the things that we hear that's coming you're not appointed to wrath you are appointed to a wonderful future as he says it's not my will to hurt you but to give you a wonderful future that will prosper you in the world you have trouble so what future is he referring to your heavenly home your eternal heavenly home not made of human hands everything's going to be all right so I'm going to leave it there. I'm Kenneth Andre, Tenjutsu Master and Mystic Messenger. The signs are clear. Door, gate, portal, transformation. All right. Keep watch.
Love you guys.